All right. Uh, my role is just to give you a little bit of background on why the county's involved in this project and what our goal for Solarize Madison is. So uh, bear with me, I've got about 10 slides or so. And uh, so far the meetings have been uh, exceptionally well attended. And um, a lot of the stuff that goes on is during the question and answer period, as well as at the end of the meeting, the opportunity to meet with the installer. So um, we'll try to get through this part of the educational piece uh, so you have time to, to talk and ask questions afterwards. So, um, so what is Solarize Madison? Uh, it's a resource program to assist with financial and logistical hurdles for going solar. If you're like me, uh, I've thought about installing solar for a number of years and just haven't quite taken that leap for whatever reason. So um, we're, we're hoping to help you with that. It's a volume purchasing program. I'll explain a little bit more about that in just a minute. Uh, it's a support system. Uh, the folks that have been attending these meetings uh, so far um, are going to be hopefully those people that are participating in the program with you. So uh, one of the ideas is that as you're going through this, there may be friends or neighbors that you're involved with, and you can kind of ask questions and, and talk with them um, about the program at the same time. And also to help stimulate the economy in Madison County. Some of the logistical hurdles with solar installation. Uh, installer selection. If you go to the NYSERDA website and you click on Madison County, you can get a list of about 125 solar installers that cover Madison County. So um, I've done that before and it's overwhelming. I don't know how to pick or uh, even if you try to pick ones that are a little <coughs> closer to home, uh, they're still difficult. Um, so the NYSERDA process and the permitting end of things, in some cases, uh, you know, local <coughs> zoning and that sort of thing may come into play. But also NYSERDA has a big role to play in solar permitting. So, uh, and also cost analysis. That's something that we've uh, done as part of this program as well. So what we did, Madison County has received um, a $30,000 grant for the, from the Central New York Regional Planning and Development Board. The goal for our grant for the county was to put together a climate action plan and a greenhouse gas inventory. That's something that's becoming more and more popular now. Uh, so we applied for a grant uh, from a, a local regional agency. Uh, as part of doing that, they gave us a $30,000 grant, which we're going to use for a demonstration project. Our initial thought was perhaps to put a solar array up on one of the county buildings or uh, you know, purchase an electric vehicle or something to that effect. But um, right about the time we were really trying to figure out what to do with that funding, no problem. Um, we met Jan. Jan is a student from Morrisville State College in the Renewable Energy Program there. Uh, and she had been sort of knocking on doors for a while to try to get people interested in this Solarize concept. It's not something that any of us knew about, but um, it started back in, well, a few years ago in Oregon, uh, Seattle, and Portland, not places that you think of as being particularly sunny. Um, and they sort of used this collective effort to install rather than a solar system here and there to collectively get a bunch of people involved and do it together. So our process was that we used the county's request for proposal uh, procedures. Uh, we put a request out, um, when did we do that? April 4th. We sent it out to um, 98 solar installers that we got from the NYSERDA list in about a 120 mile radius around Madison County. Uh, we received nine proposals which was great. Um, you know, each proposal was in the 15 to 20 page range, had a lot of information. Um, and the selection was finally approved by the county on June 12th. I think I've got a slide here that talks in a little bit more detail about the criteria. Yeah. So one of the things that we were looking for in this uh, was that the installers had to be NABCEP certified, which is a certification process for solar. Uh, they had to be um, Met, meet the criteria and be certified by NYSERDA, the New York State Research and Development Authority. Um, qualifications of the company and the Solarize team. So one of the things that we asked for is what's your experience in solar, the renewable energy industry. Um, and rather than just saying, you know, we're going to install 50 kilowatts of solar and we want your price, an RFP encompasses more of the program approach and puts some of the uh, controls out to them and says, how would you approach this project? So we look for that. Um, benefit to the Madison County community and economy. The products offered. Uh, there is a whole range of solar cells, um, made in America, made in China, that is sort of an interesting uh, array of uh, 
different uh, options out there for purchasing solar. So we looked at that. We looked at obviously the price. Um, each of the nine proposals included a price with that, and we'll get into those details uh, more uh, in more detail <laughs> in just a minute. So, um, so that's why the county's involved in this. We don't have any financial uh, benefit from this. We wanted to rather than installing you know, or buying an electric vehicle or installing a 20 or 15 kilowatt system, we thought we'd sort of uh, infuse this money into the community and hopefully have somewhere 100 kilowatts, 200 kilowatts, we don't really know. The response so far has been far greater than uh, we had initially planned. So some of the financial hurdles, what does this program assist you with? Uh, the volume purchasing discount. The way the pricing goes for this, for the purchase solar option is that the more people that purchase and participate, the greater price savings is to you. So um, th there'll be more about that later. I won't get into the details. The setting a base price for all participants. Obviously, I mentioned the grant from Madison County, and we've also got an excellent loan option for getting financing if you're interested in doing that, which you'll hear more about from Citizens Bank um, later tonight. So this is the pricing tier. Um, just really quickly, the, the main thing I want you to get here is that um, if we install less than 50 kilowatts collectively, you can see the prices in the, you know, depending on which efficiency solar panels and, and uh, inverters you use, the price is around 450, 420, 403. You can see as the more uh, kilowatts that are installed, the price goes down significantly. So that's where there's real cost savings. And I'll say that the purchase solar option, some of the proposals that we received had prices per watt up in the $6 range. So this is an exceptional price uh, we've got here. The leasing option, which you're gonna hear about also, uh, is, is quite a uh, interesting and great option, I think, that's really come on in the last couple of years. Um, just looking at numbers a little bit, if you're looking at a three kilowatt system, um, if about 50 homes participate at the $4 a watt range, um, here's what sort of the scenario is for out-of-pocket expenses. The sticker price for a three kilowatt system in this scenario is $12,000. The NYSERD incentive, which is $1.50 per watt, that's taken right off the price up front. So the upfront payment is $7,500. Um, there's a federal and state tax credit that is available to you, depending, I think in most cases it's available, but it, we're, we're saying to ask your consultant or your CPA or whoever helps you do your taxes because there are some implications of that, you know, depending on your tax bracket and, and that sort of thing. So, um, but we're factoring in both the federal and state. So the net cost to you is about $3,375 for a three kilowatt system. One of the first things that people ask is what does it cost? And, so and just to get an idea, um, you might be wondering, a three kilowatt system is basically just a supplemental, just to kind of help offset your electricity usage. Arista Power and uh, ETM are gonna get into a little bit of larger system that could do potentially 100% of your energy consumption. Exactly. So that's about a 51% savings. Um, so here's, uh, if at the end of 2011, um, this would be, um, there's plenty of seats over there. Okay. Um, about $6.38 a watt is what it was being installed for with before, without doing the solarized concept. So obviously there's a significant uh, increase in price. So $6,588 out-of-pocket expense used in the same scenario. So you know the group effort really does have an impact, a significant impact on the price. Uh, one of the things that they looked at uh, in the Portland solarized program was the price um, per watt installed. Um, and you can see the red line there shows Portland excluding solarized. So that's the price of solar installations if people just did it on their own. Um, the green line is uh, non-Portland, the rest of the country, looking at Solarize. And then the difference in price uh, that Solarize Portland gained by is the blue dotted line there. Uh, and you can see there's obviously a significant increase, uh, decrease in cost there. And uh, we think we're sort of in a, in a better position than this pricing even that you see here. So um, just uh, putting that little plug for Madison County. Uh, we've been doing a lot in the last few years in relation to renewable energy. Uh, 
one of the things with the first municipality in the country with a solar array of the landfill. You can see that down here. If you haven't taken a ride out there, it's pretty interesting. Uh, part of the landfill capping process, um, they decided to put in a, a rolled solar panels, which are different than these panels you see here. Um, but they're generating enough electricity to run the entire uh, recycling facility up at the landfill. So just a unique approach. We've got a very small solar system that runs a pump at one of our county parks. We've got a micro hydro powered system that uh, uses a very small amount of water to run all the electric needs for uh, Oxbow Falls, uh, a restroom that's there. Uh, there's a gas to energy system, taking all the methane that they used to just burn off and let go into the air. They're now creating uh, electricity with that at the landfill. And the waste heat is being used to uh, heat the facility. And also there's plans for uh, to put a lumber drying kiln up there using the waste heat and then also a greenhouse. So um, like I mentioned, we were selected for this climate change innovation program. Um, we've got an electric vehicle charging station coming uh, hopefully this year. And then uh, we're, the, we're, we're the first county in New York State back in 2000 with uh, a commercial wind farm. And now we can add the first county in New York to do a solarized program. So. We're, uh, we're trying to be out at the, at the front there, so. All right, one of the things that I mentioned was this grant that we've gotten from regional planning. So for the Purchase Solar Program, we wanted to sort of incentivize folks to participate in this. So we've made 15 grants of $2,000 available. So the way this is gonna work is that this is for the Purchase Solar option only, um, and it's only for residential. So these are the criteria. Um, you have to install a direct own solar system. Uh, it must be connected to a residential meter. Uh, it must be a minimum of three kilowatts or an offset of 20% of your electrical usage. The reason we did that, we didn't want somebody to install a $2,000 solar system and have no out-of-pocket expense. <laughs> Our goal is to try to have as much uh, installed capacity as we can. So. <laughs> but, um, and then we wanted folks to become a solar ambassador. <coughs> The concept there is that, um, I said this the wrong way the other day and I think I scared a few people, but one, <laughs> we want your electrical data, which is something that NYSERDA requires anyway. We wanna be able to tell the story about this program going forward. So I think a lot of the, uh, if this takes off, and I think it's definitely going to, word of mouth kinds of things, uh, talking to your neighbors, maybe doing a little a short snippet of an interview for a video that we'll put online, uh, there's a solar tour they're talking about having. Maybe you'd be interested in being on that. So we're just looking for a little bit of sort of paying it forward with this program uh, in the ambassador. So I gotta mention this really quickly. Jan mentioned it before. There's uh, flyers we've got to hand out here. One of the other things that we're doing is an energy challenge. Um, one of the first things that anyone will tell you in regards to renewable energy um, is that you know if you use a huge amount of electricity it's not cost effective to put on a huge solar system. The first thing they always talk about is reducing your consumption. And so looking at things like Energy Star appliances, windows, uh, efficiency, you know, those, uh, all the things you leave plugged in that use little amounts of electricity while you're not actually using the equipment. So we put together this uh, CNY Energy Challenge. Uh, it's over, a, I think there's a series of five meetings. Uh, we've got team leaders set up throughout the county and we'll meet every two weeks, and there's a little workbook that you go through. It's about an hour a week, and you go through and look at your energy usage. One of the sessions talks about lighting, windows, just kind of, uh, you know, you hear about all these things that you can do, but go in a little bit more. <coughs> about it. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, we've got flyers for that as well, so. Thank you. All right, so one of the biggest misnomers that I think is out there is that New York doesn't have sun. Uh, it might not seem like it's sunny right now. <laughs> but um, like I mentioned before, Portland and Seattle, two uh, areas that I've done solarize, are in the blue. Uh, the closer to blue the color is, the worse solar resource you have. And so uh, they've done exceptionally well. Country of Germany and Europe has the largest installed capacity of solar of any country, I think, in the nation, or in the nation, in the world. And uh, actually one time this year, they had 50% of their power generated by solar. And they have a far worse solar resource than we do. They're like Alaska when it comes to sunlight. So um, the state of New York definitely has a, a, a very good solar resource. Um, 
So obviously, uh, we've got a series. We've got these Q and A sessions. We're doing six of them throughout Madison County. We've got educational workshops that are coming up in the month of July, uh, starting July 9th. It's every Monday for four weeks, um, and these kind of go a little bit more in depth on some of the topics. One just sort of the general discussion of renewable energy, energy efficiency, uh, financing and finances of solar, and the nuts and bolts. How does this solar actually work? So I still don't understand that, but it does. Um, so sort of going through the process, those are the steps. Uh, you know, the more word of mouth and discussions you have with friends and neighbors, I think when people start seeing this, there'll be more discussion too, that's our hope. But uh, get evaluated. Our goal is to have everybody signed up by September 30th. So um, that sort of sets the price point. By September 30th, the number of people that have signed contracts with um, the, the solar installers um, will, that, that sets the price point. So, and, and I don't actually know that I've mentioned this, but we have both installers here tonight. There's Arista Power, which was selected. They're out of Rochester, and they're doing a purchase solar option. They'll be presenting later. And ETM Solar Works out of Endicott, New York. They're doing uh, offering the leasing option. We we'll get to hear more about that uh, as the evening goes on as well. So we feel um, very confident that we've selected two great installers. Um, the process that we went through was pretty rigorous, actually, and so uh, we are very confident that we've got some some great folks. And and I know they've been busy these last few days. So I think there's one more slide that I usually skip that one. All right. So I next up is Solar 101. And uh, John with the Rista Power is going to be doing that. I saw a few people writing down some of the qualifications for our selection process. We, our RFP that we had issued is on our website. If you go to our downloads page, you can read the RFP that we issued and all of the criteria that we scored them on as well as the scoring, um, the scoring we 